We interrupt your program with this important message. It appears that Mount Pinatuba has started to erupt. Here at the scene, we have Mr. Hamburger. Oh, right now, I'm in Asia, specifically the island of Luzon in the Philippines. The volcano I'm in front of is exactly located at 15 degrees 08.4 feet north and 120 degrees 21 feet east. Now, as you can see, the volcano erupts explosively, but it looks like roasted marshmallows are coming out of it. Mmm, roasted marshmallows. Oh no. Lava. It's getting closer. No! Well, that's the end of him. Anyway, this volcano is a composite type, standing at 5,725 feet before the eruption. Composite volcanoes are formed from congealed pieces of lava that come out of a single vent. Lava separates into fragments, solidifies on the surroundings of the vent to create a cone shape. We'll talk about the aftermath once this stops. I'm John Newsman, and we'll see you next time. your program with this important message. Well, it's 2018, we still haven't talked about the aftermath of Pinatubo. Sorry folks. Anyway, after the explosion, the volcano now stands at 5,248 feet. That erupted was the second largest volcanic eruption in the 20th century. Its most recent explosion was in 1992, but Wikipedia says 1993. Don't trust Wikipedia! The volcano is stated to be active, and some risks of living near it are the occurrence of landslides, earthquakes, lava flow, and breathing in gases. What's being done to predict future eruptions is a correlation spectrometer was used to measure the amount of SO2, or sulfur dioxide, that rose from cracks in the ground due to magma rising. Also, seven seismic stations were placed around the mountain to report data from the volcano, mostly recording earthquakes below the surface. Thank you for listening, even though you had no choice because we took over all the TV stations. 